Many times when reading a story with students, real places are mentioned. Since many students don't have the opportunity to travel, it is our job as educators to create background knowledge of these locations so they can better understand the story. With tools like Google Lit Trips, we can breathe new life into these stories by virtually visiting the, the locations. With Google Lit Trips, you and your students can access interactive maps, photos, and discussion questions about select pieces of literature for all grades. A Google Lit Trip is a tool that is used with Google Earth, which is a free software download at earth.google.com, which is not to be confused with Google Maps. For more information on this, watch the screencast dedicated to Google Earth. To browse existing Google Lit Trips, go to googlelittrips.com. Choose the grade band that suits your purposes at the top of the page. Then select a story that fits your curriculum. Preview it by reading about the story, the author, and viewing map screenshots. Then click on the link next to download at the top of the screen. Select open and it should appear in Google Earth. Next, you are ready to start exploring the locations of the story. All you have to do is double click on the link to fly to the next identified location in the story. In the case of Make Way for Ducklings, you can view information about Boston itself and then fly to each of the locations the Mallard family tries out before finding their chosen home, including Beacon Hill, the Charles River, and the highway where Officer Michael helped the ducks cross the road. As I said earlier, books are available for older grades as well, including The Watsons Go to Birmingham, 1963. This lit trip follows the Watson family as they attempt to travel from their home in Flint, Michigan, to visit family in Birmingham, Alabama, in the tumultuous year of 1963. Each stop on the lit trip identifies locations in the story and suggests several discussion questions regarding each location. Not only does this lit trip help students virtually travel to the locations, but it also helps them travel back in time. If you are reading a story as a class, using a projector or an active board or smart board would be a great way to make this information visible to the entire class. Having the lit trip downloaded on class desktops or laptop computers would also make it easily accessible to students reading in small groups or individually. This also allows them to explore the locations in depth, as well as take their time answering discussion questions. You could even have older students create tours through Google Earth of other stories they're reading or even stories they are writing themselves. With this tool, your students will be introduced to places they have no knowledge of and foster comprehension and empathy for the characters in the stories. You'll be able to catch characters in all sorts of stories as they travel around the world with Google Lit Trips.